Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers, how you all doing? So, you're looking for a warframe that can decimate enemies with ease. One that gives zero fucks about using weapons and simply relies on its own abilities to wreak havoc. You want to pile the bodies of your enemies high as you scream with psychotic laughter. If so, then I like your style, diddly diddly. In today's video, we're going to take a look at three incredible damage dealing warframes. Warframes that can dish out a nice amount of damage with their abilities only. So we're not looking at a warframe weapon combo like say Mirage and a Cyanide Simulo just frames that can shine by using their abilities and not really relying on weapons. Now of course there are more than three good DPS frames in the game but these are the ones that you all mentioned in the comment section of a previous video so before I continue let me quickly give some honourable mentions to frames that are all just as good and also worth getting your hands on although getting your hands on might be a really bad choice of words with some of it. So the first Warframe I want to showcase is Mesa, who we all know with Peacemaker is an absolute wrecking machine. Once you get the perfect balance of power, strength, duration and efficiency and have the right mods equipped on your sidearm to boost that Peacemaker's damage output, she can top the damage dealt in your mission without really opening her eyes. Mesa is and has always been an incredible damage dealing Warframe when built for Peacemaker. Maker, but you can also build her for Shadow Shield, which gives her a completely different playstyle if you're not really into the damage dealing type of Warframe. As passives go, Maces is probably one of the better ones, and it's called Marksman's Dexterity, and it will give her different bonus depending on her weapon setup. If your Mesa is running with a dual wield sidearms, then she will gain a 10% fire rate buff. With a one handed sidearm, she will gain a 20% buff to reload speed. And if you have no melee weapon equipped, she will gain a bonus to 50 whole health. Now, Peacemaker, like I said, gains the benefits of the mods that you have equipped on your sidearm. And her regulators, which is basically her exalted guns, I guess you could call them, have a 25% base crit chance and a 3 times crit multiplier. So modding your sidearm for crit will see you dealing some really nice damage output with those regulators from her Peacemaker. Sticking range mods on your Mesa is definitely a personal preference reference as the only effect that this has on Peacemaker is the size of Peacemaker's aiming reticle and not the actual range of her Peacemaker shots. But you can mod for some range if you want to make use of Shooting Gallery's stun effect. So this is how I have my Peacemaker Mesa modded right now with a mix of efficiency, power strength and duration and my weapons are modded for crit, fire rate and of course elemental damage to boost the Peacemaker's damage output. Now like I said earlier if you're not really into the damage dealing turret mode Peacemaker Mesa then she is an incredibly good tank warframe as well as having a little bit of crowd control in there with shooting gallery she has a pretty good balanced playstyle if you like that type of warframe definitely one worth checking out the next Warframe up is one of our newest Warframes, Nidus, whose damage output will increase depending on how many mutation stacks he has. Every time Nidus hits with either his Virulence ability or from his Ultimate Ravenous ability, he will start to fill up the gauge of his mutated stacks, which in turn will eventually give him bonus 250 armor and increase the damage output of all of his abilities. Nidus can have a maximum of 100 stacks as well, which is great because every time he enters his undying state it will consume 15 of those stacks now his undying state is activated when nidus receives a killing blow instead of dying he will consume 15 of those stacks and regen 50 percent of his health and be immune to damage for five seconds basically long enough for you to pop back up to full health and keep on killing but it's the damage output of his Ravenous and especially his Virulence ability when he has gained enough stacks that turns him into an amazing damage dealing Warframe, who is also a solid tank who can, like I said, deal damage, soak up damage and also heal himself and his teammates with his Ravenous ability. He's a solid all-rounder, not to mention the ability to link himself to teammates and increase their damage or link himself to an enemy and transfer damage that he receives onto that enemy instead. Now, like I said, his Virulence ability is an incredible once you have enough power strength and enough of those stacks built up it deals a lot of damage in a line in front of them and if you have a decent amount of range you can take out multiple enemies in one blow even high level enemies it doesn't really matter he deals a lot of damage 
Also, his virulence ability will refund a certain amount of energy back to you for every enemy that you hit with it. So you're not going to exactly spend a lot of energy while casting that ability because it does regen some to you. Now, his ultimate ability, Ravenous, costs three mutation stacks and will summon freaky looking infested grass depending on your energy colour it can be quite hard on the eyes along with some little maggots that will run around and feast on enemies staggering them and killing them until eventually those maggots will also explode dealing a lot of damage now they also gradually increase your mutation stacks as well casting your first ability virulence on those maggots while you're jumping around on top of enemies will also make them explode instantly dealing a lot of damage in an area of effect around where they just detonated. Now Nidus is an incredible frame like I said earlier, one of the best damage dealing tanky warframes in the game right now. If you haven't built him then you really should give him a go, maybe you might like him, maybe you won't, you won't know I guess until you try. Which leaves us with our final warframe and honestly one that right now is quickly becoming one of if not my new favourite Warframe, it is of course Equinox. Now I've been running a Nightform Peaceful Provocation Equinox for a while now and I absolutely love it. I love the slow effect but Nightform isn't exactly a damage dealing Warframe, it's all about crowd control. A Dayform Maim Equinox however is a bit of a killing machine. It can set up a huge radius of destruction to all enemies that are foolish enough to step foot inside it. Mod for a balance of range, power strength, efficiency and duration to reduce the energy drain from Maim and you should be good to go. So Maim is Dayform Equinox's ultimate ability. When cast, Equinox will have this large aura surrounding the Warframe which will deal slash damage to all enemies who step inside the aura. This will also stagger them and apply a bleed effect to the enemy as well. The stagger will only happen once to an enemy when they first step inside that aura and the bleed effect will cause 35% of Maim's base damage seven times over the course of six seconds. So at low levels, Maim will kill everything just by the slash procs and bleed alone, never mind the amount of damage you have stored up. But at higher levels, this bleed and slash proc won't be quite as effective, but it will do some work. However, Maim also, like I said, stores up to 75% of the shield and health of enemies killed inside this aura to be used when needed. This stored amount will also continue to climb for every enemy that you kill inside the aura until you toggle Maim off or it gets toggled off for you when you run out of energy or maybe step inside a nullifier bubble or whatever. When you choose to actually toggle this ability off, it will release all of this stored up damage in a room wide nuke and deal a fact ton of damage to all enemies nearby you. This damage will ignore obstacles in the way so line of sight is not really an issue. It will also deal slightly less damage to enemies that are full or away from you so it has a little bit of a damage drop off I guess. This room wide nuke is what makes Equinox so damn useful at later levels. The ability to just wipe out everything in one go when I guess things get a little bit hectic as well as the stagger and the bleed effect and if you combine the maim ability with Equinox's provoke ability then you will of course deal more damage with both the slash procs and the bleed effects as well as also boosting your teammates power strength. Farming for all of Equinox's parts and eventually building Equinox can be an absolute bitch. You might get lucky with RNG or you may not. Fingers crossed if you are farming for Equinox, hopefully you get all of the parts you want in a relatively quick enough time. So there you have it, three incredible damage dealing Warframes according to you guys. Like I said, there are so many more Warframes that are just as good at damage dealing, whether it's a Spore Saren, World on Fire Ember, a anti maha Drop Nova and so on and so on, even Rhino's Crotch. Now most Warframes have some kind of damage dealing ability and until you fully check out that ability you never really know how good it's going to be or whether you might like it or not. You're better off trying them out because who knows, you might find the next meta in Warframe that everyone will eventually be running around with. Like I said, check everything out. So that's three crowd control frames done and three damage dealing Warframes done but what about tank frames? Let me know in the comment section what are three good tank Warframes in the game right now or what is your go to tank Warframe. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching. <laughs> That's what it sounded much. like. For watching. No, you just can't. Okay, who can do yeah, it the best? Yeah, who... I got it. Hold on, got hold it. on. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's see who can do it the best. Go on, Connor, do it again. Like if you like it. Subscribe if you don't. I thought subscribe, subscribe for more. Subscribe if you don't. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I watch his videos, I swear. If you oh, don't, subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks for watching. You fucked it.
Or you don't if you it. didn't. You <laughs> fucked it in about three different places, so you did. It's don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching. <laughs> no, it's very much. <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching! <laughs> <laughs> you should not hit on one of your videos. It scared the shit out of your viewers. Damn, man. I will give you. Don't if you don't. Thanks very much for watching! Oh, this is my. Thanks very much for watching! Oh, this, this thanks very much for watching. A dilly 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 dilly. <laughs> you fucking racist piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joel. You just thought I was going to do it. <laughs> no, no, I didn't know you were going to do the diddly diddly thing at the end of it. <laughs> uh, Sorry, that was too easy. That was going to trigger you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be hilarious, though. I just hear you. Thanks very much for watching. A diddly 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 diddly. Do you know what, though? All right, I, I'd pay a time. I'd pay a time. I'd, 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 I'd pay that. money. I'd pay money to do that. <laughs> how much will it take to get you to do that? Yeah, John, how much? Your videos. <laughs> to do what? Do diddly diddly at the end of it? <laughs> yeah. Diddly diddly. That kind of. No amount of money in the world. Again. No, I don't need to get any. I don't need to do it myself because I've been recording all of this, so I've already got Phil doing it as natural. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> why do you think I? Why do you think I started asking you to fucking do it? <laughs> Don't worry, I wiped down the mic. That's probably because I sound like a lady. Because <laughs> he's a lady. I can't, I can't even do that. <laughs>